Isn't writer's block the worst? You sit there, you start to write maybe for 15 minutes and you start to write some, some random notes and really nothing happens. You stare at that blank screen and it just starts to become frustrating. At that point, you click over, you watch a YouTube video, maybe you go for a walk, or if you're like me, probably scrolling through 433 danger posting. It's really awful actually sometimes. So I wanted to spend this video giving you five tips that I use to get through writer's block. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, do all the things, share, it really helps. I promise you it really helps. Have your collaborators give you deadlines. If you don't have collaborators for your project, perhaps make your own deadline and stick to it. It's really important. I think that when I have a deadline, I have never missed one of my deadlines and it has really helped me get through every single project. It can really help you get past that idea that every piece has to be your masterpiece, which I think can make writing really challenging. Try working on a different musical task. I recently discovered, uh, because of the wonderful David Biedemender, that if I spend 45 minutes of just writing music, it's not for a project, it's not for a piece that I'm working on, it's not for lessons, it's not for school, it's not for anything, it's just, I'm gonna write for the fun of writing, that I can write one, really good music, but two, I can then think about how that process of just writing for the sake of writing without stressing, um, gets me into the creative mojo to then spend the next write composition session writing and and even if I don't use any of the material that I got from that, I just had a really wonderful composing session because I just wrote for 45 minutes without any stress. And it was so invigorating, so fun. Um, and the music, is, I, I really love what I came up with. Um, if you're composing, you're probably a creative person. You have it in you, you just, have to deal with other stress and other crud that you have to get through to get to that finish line. And so removing that stress, I found to be a really helpful way to get past that block. Listen to music while perhaps doing something else. Do you have a hobby that isn't musical? Um, like for me, it's cooking, sometimes walking, um, the occasional video game. I found that listening to music of mine, like old old pieces of mine, um, while doing that, doing those those different things, um, can be a really good way of reminding me of other musical ideas that I've perhaps had in the past, and then I can use those ideas in future pieces. Um, there's not saying that I do this for all the time, but I definitely have a couple different gestures that I use regularly in a lot of my music because I found it to be a really a gesture that works really well. Lately, I've been listening, thanks to Chris Size, Keith Fullerton Whitman's Playthroughs album. It's really awesome. I also want to thank my friends over at Cartridge Music, including Chris, um, for who've given me really wonderful playlists through their channel. So go check them out. Read a book or listen to a podcast. I find that sometimes I'm just not in the mood to compose. I know we've all been there. And I find that reading a book or listening to a podcast can help me get into that mood because listening to other people's creative thoughts um, and how they do things outside of music, I found can be a really helpful way of working past um, when I don't know what I want to say. Finally, Writer's Block really isn't real. Um, I mean, not really. Uh, remember that you can definitely spend an hour and just write really bad music and that's okay. Um, nobody has to see it but you. Um, I found that some of those really bad music composing sessions have actually led to really great composing sessions in the future. Um, I remember writing for like an hour and a half on, on a project. Uh, I think it was my ch solo cello piece that I wrote uh, that you can find here. And I remember thinking, this is awful. And then the next day I spent like three hours and wrote the entire like six minute piece because that previous composing session really was what I needed to write the piece that I ended up writing. Um, I think that we focus so much on, we need to write the perfect notes every single time and that is so stressful. Um, working past stress, working past that and thinking, hey, this is something that I love to do. It's not, doesn't have to be stressful is really, really great and I highly recommend it.
embrace the mistakes. Was this list helpful for you? How do you work through writer's block? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear from you. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share. Let me know what you think. Um, love you. Thank you for watching and have a really great day.